Hey, it's Keith from Vector Off-Road. I'm super excited today. We've got the 2023 Vector Off-Road Armadillo trailer. I'm gonna do a walk around, show you the new details, some of the best features uh, about this trailer. I'm gonna start right here in the nose box. Uh, dual batteries, deep cycle batteries. We've got a Renogy electronic system. This uh, has a built-in inverter. It also does solar management. Uh, it's got all sorts of fun gadgets in it. We've got a fuse box here, and then we've got switches for all of your onboard lights and other accessories. All of our compartments do have LED lighting in them, which makes it really nice when you're setting up camp at night to be able to see what's going on. On the front of the trailer, you do have a max coupler, which allows the vehicle and the trailer to pivot independent of each other. It gives you a nice quiet ride and gives you a lot of capability off-road. On the side of the trailer, we've got the bridge pull out. It's a Dometic fridge, you've got dual compartments. These can be tuned to be both refrigerator, both freezer or one of each. Above the refrigerator, we also have a storage shelf, which is great for camp chairs. Uh, anything deep and long fits on that shelf really nicely. There's a lock for the fridge there. You pull, slide back in, throw your latches. Our trailers come standard with a 270 degree awning, which will swing out, swing back behind the kitchen area. So it gives you a lot of coverage here on the side of the trailer as well on the back. Inside of the trailer, our main storage compartment, you've got lots and lots of storage room for sleeping gear, cooking gear, food, dry goods, uh, whatever you need to store in here. It's a huge cavern and it'll definitely accommodate lots of stuff. 35 inch BFG all terrains are standard as are black rhino alloy wheels. It's a great tire and wheel combination. Um, this trailer also has Timbrin axleless suspension, which is just very worry free and provides a lot of great performance off off-road and on-road but it really allows us to have uh, maintain a lot of ground clearance moving around to the back of the trailer you've got your propane tank storage here if it's a 10 pound tank and then in the rear you've got your kitchen got your uh, tankless hot water heater here two burner stove and then your sink. Sink is equipped with hot and cold water. You've got two storage shelves back here for utensils, spices, uh, small food items, as well as a storage cubby down low where you can put other uh, small kitchen items. You also have a cutting board, a cooking area extension included. Slide it out and then you use the two included knobs attach it here like so on the back corners of the trailer you have deployable stabilizers they can be used to secure the trailer from tipping backwards should you remove it from your vehicle um, also, they're handy for just kind of getting that final level in place. You also have in the back here your water tank fill. Uh, it's a 20 gallon water tank locking. And then this is also your uh, shower port or your external shower point. Great for washing off, taking a quick shower after a long day on the trail. Another storage compartment here on the side, complete with shelves. 
Works really great for items you need to get to quickly and easily. Just keep whatever you need quick at hand right there. You can tell the frame has protective rails. Um, we've maintained tons and tons of ground clearance. Um, optional now for, or new for this year is attachment points underneath the frame for securing with a Y ratchet strap a spare tire, uh, preferably like a donut sized spare. Uh, it can just be ratcheted underneath. You lose very little ground clearance. If you feel like you need the security of a spare tire, that's the direction we're recommending now. We have recovery points, front and rear. Uh, they work with D-rings very well. In case you want to tow this out of, if you're stuck somewhere and you need to detach the trailer and pull it out, you do have um, great attachment points there. On top, you've got standard tent mounts. These will uh, accommodate 95% of the tents on the market without any drilling. If for some reason you have something that's pretty specific, you can drill a couple of additional holes through the aluminum mounts that will allow you to mar uh, mount your specific tent. Speaking of aluminum, this trailer is made predominantly of aluminum to keep it lightweight and to keep the uh, rust at, at bay. The frame is steel. It's made in the USA. We feel like we've put together an awesome, lightweight, super rugged, super durable trailer package that will get you anywhere you you're, you're need to go and with all the comforts of, of home. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions on the armadillo, post here or shoot us a, an email. Thank you.